Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Claire. Really great to have you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hang around for more content. And for everyone else, thank you for coming back. I am so excited for this video. I just bought my very first resin kit and oh, I'm hooked. I'm utterly hooked. But yeah, obviously it's not going to be a resin channel, but I do try loads of different crafts. And yeah, had a go at resin. It's lush. Took me a few attempts to get it right, but I'm here. I'm an absolute beginner. Let's get started. So I have been wanting to do resin for the longest time. Looked around, did my research, watched a load of videos. It really was intimidating. I really didn't think, you know, it was maybe beyond my skill. But then I just thought last week, you know what, sod it. I'll just order some stuff. So I ordered glass cast. So I got this from Amazon. And they're really, really straightforward. So I got the resin and I got the hardener. So most resins, epoxy resins, I think from my research come in two parts, part A, part B. And just by looking on the front of these cans, this is what made it so much easier. It tells you exactly how much to put in of each. So for this one, it is two to one. So you want two parts resin, one part hardener. And if you're measuring by weight, it also says there, it's a little bit different. That means you need some math skills. <laughs> So I'm going to go two for one. <laughs> and that is all you need to do for your resin. That's it. You've got your resin. So I am now going to mix up two parts of the resin to one part of the hardener. As I said, I am a beginner. I bought these kits, these pendant making kits from Amazon. They came as a big batch. So you've got these two. You've got three long containers and you've also got some stirring sticks some cups some pipettes some um, plastic syringes so i kind of got the whole kit but yeah absolute beginner so i'm gonna start with these casts as i am a beginner there's nothing fancy here at all all i did i went out and i bought loads of things to just shove into the resin that's all i could think let's just find some pretty stuff to shove in so I went and got some glitter. Do be careful with your glitters, people. And I got a packet of sequins. And I also got some more glitter. And lots of other bits and bobs to shove inside. Now, the tester kit, the, the testers that I did, produced these two here. They are my absolute favourites. So today I am going to just stick with. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix the resin. Two of these, one of these. So I'm going two of these one of these two one that's this brand only check your brands before you do the mixing some most are 50 50 i do believe so i'm going to use these syringes just because they are the easiest thing for me okay that is the resin in the cup the next thing you need to do is stir this together for at least three minutes, I believe. If I show you in the camera, you will see how you can kind of see two different products in there. You need to stir it for about three to five minutes until that is one completely clear liquid. That is literally it, so I mix that for a good four minutes to make sure that both of those parts A and B were completely integrated together. I'm using these little pots here just to separate it out. These came in one of the kits. They're like shot glasses, but they've got measurements on the side. So I'm just pouring that mixed liquid into all three parts. Not really worrying about how evenly distributed it is. So here are the three pots and here is the glitter that I got from the works. I've just poured some light blue into this one, some green into this one. I'm going to go for purple into the last one. Now, depending on how much you want really to show, I'm just going to pour quite a lot in, to be honest. I want a lot of glitter saturated. So if I show you this pendant that I made, this is pretty much the effect, excuse the nails, <laughs> this is the effect I'm kind of going for. But I notice at the back, there's also some missing. So yeah, it's all about trial and error, especially when you're just starting. So I'm gonna pour 
those into there and then you need to go ahead with a stirrer stick and give it a wash around making sure that all of that glitter is completely saturated probably could have done with using bigger pots but we'll have a we'll just do it gently do it slowly and we'll get there in the end Okay, so they are mixed. I had a spillage on the green, but that's my own fault for not using bigger pots. But these are absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see the shine on that. Oh my goodness. So really, because it is a beginner's video, I just want you to realize that once you've got your resin mixed, anything else you shove in it, really, is up to you. I'm only going for glitter just because it's so pretty. But yeah, I absolutely love these. But once you once you make your resin guys feel free to just add whatever fits you you know that is all you have to do now we just have to pour it into the molds because i am a beginner this is a beginner's video my molds are basic these were a kit from amazon i got as part of just a, a bulk kit buy for beginners really um but there are some magnificent molds out there but I didn't know until I if, I, if I know or don't know that I love something, I won't spend. So at the moment, I'm loving it. So the chances are I will buy some more amazing kits. But we shall see, we shall see. And that's pretty much all mixed. I'm happy with that. Just have to go ahead, pour it all in. Is just to show you how fun this is so from all my research and all of my video watching and all of that I understand that you need to drive out the air bubbles now this um, epoxy resin from Clearcast claims to drive out the bubbles themselves um, sadly from me just having a go at it I know that's not strictly true so you can use lots of different things you can so you can use a heat gun or you can use an actual flame um, burner gun thing for crafters. I don't have any of those. I'm gonna use a lighter I have seen other people do this so I'm confident from my first batch that it does work You just want to take the lighter and run it over the surface now if you have got a long clicky one Obviously that would be safer for your fingers, but I am just going to try and zoom in here I don't expect you to be able to see the bubbles disappearing from up there, but you might just get a glimpse of it. Now these mats are silicon, so I'm not worried about them burning. Oh, you might get a glimpse of those going. I might even be holding it over for too long. A lot of people just brisk it over like this. And you wanna go and do all of those before you set it aside to dry. This resin says 24 hours. Um, my last batch, well, the, my practice ones that worked out really well, I actually left them for two whole days. This is the patience you need for this, for this project and this kind of craft. Not sure I've got the patience for it, but so far it's been really fun. I am going to put these actually upstairs in the same cupboard as my boiler because all of my research has told me that they need um, a warm environment. If, you've, if you live in a cold climate, it might take longer. It can take two or three days, some people are saying. But for me, definitely 24 hours before they were hard and they were still a little bit bendy and then about five hours, six hours later, they were rock solid in with my boiler. So that's what my plan is. I'm just gonna go ahead and heat the rest of these up 
And yeah, done. It, guys all done my very first video on epoxy resin I don't know if it will be my last but it's definitely not gonna be a resin channel so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put this upstairs in the cupboard to dry and I guess I'll be seeing you in a couple of days okay it is the next day I've left it approximately 24 hours so if any of them are a little bit bendy, then we'll know to leave them longer. But I've taken one out and I feel like they are completely cured after just 24 hours. So yeah, this is the fun part. So I will show you how I just take them out of the molds. I just kind of like wiggle the sides and they pop right out. Like so. This is the most exciting moment. Oh my goodness me. Can you see? see that it is absolutely smooth as anything but yeah there's a little bit of a resin gap there at the back on that one the green Now, of course, these are just ideas. I've got a whole heap of ideas. If you want to stay to the end, I'll just run you through a few quick things um, that you could try. So I am doing this on my kitchen worktop just because it's so bright in my kitchen right now. I can't find the perfect space to do it. So these are all the smaller ones. If you turn it over, it looks like that. So we've got the small green square. I did mix some of these colours up so it would be interesting to see how they've taken or if they've taken. So that one is part blue, part purple, but more blue I'd say. The back is more purpley. We've got the oval here. I know these are all the same glitters, these are all the same sorts of styles, but yeah, just showing you how they should look when they come out you'll know if they've cured when they're completely smooth sometimes in my in my very first batch I, I tried too soon and they were they were kind of tacky to touch um, and yeah when I tried to remove them from the molds they were bendy so you will when you try it it's smooth and rock hard so yeah we've got this one's one of my favorite shapes actually I absolutely love it This one looks kind of cool with the purple and the green. And just these little ones here as well. And last but not least, this teardrop. Now you can be quite rough with these because they're silicon. That's the best bit about them. I'm not worried when I pull these out at all. I just give them a, give them a yank. So that is how they've turned out. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. We also have these. Now these were a bit um, tricky to get out. Somebody recommended that you put them in a bowl of soapy dishwasher, dishwasher, um, <laughs> washing up liquid. Put them in a warm bowl of water with washing up liquid. Um, I got a little bit brave because I know they are silicon. Um, and yeah, I just pulled the side down and I just grabbed it with my like that just pull it down and it kind of suction tends to let it wiggle out however because I'm on camera and it knows I'm gonna have a go in the soapy water to get this one out okay that is those two out this is definitely my favorite shape out of all of the molds that I've got hello and this one I added three different glitters to it um, hasn't really done what I expected it to do but still it is pretty and you'll see on the top of this one I spilt it as I went to sit it down it dropped over and some poured out so you will get dips here and that's it I hope you've enjoyed so I will just um, talk about just a couple of things now obviously 
you know, if you need to leave me right here, please do. But what you want to do, somebody asked me if I sand these down. I actually haven't even started that yet because I am a complete beginner. So you do see people online sanding their stuff down. So on the back, you will notice there's almost like a, a pool. It doesn't necessarily um, dry flat at the back. There's a bit of a dip here. So these edges are sharp at the back. Now you can sand them down or you can do what I'm going to do and just put more resin on the top to just um, dome them off or smooth that surface over. So no sanding required. And then I can just put my necklace chain, my ribbon, my rope, whatever you want to use through that hole and Bob's your uncle. And similar, similar to this one, you might see it better on the darker colour. You can see there's a lip here. So the back is the bit that is touching the air. That's the bit that you'll see will be like this caved, concave type um, thing here. So there's room here for more resin. You can either top it up or just sand these back. Now the kit I got from Amazon came with a nail file, but at the moment, I'm, like I said, I'm a real beginner. I probably won't start attempting to do that until I really know what I'm doing, but I absolutely love these. The last thing I'm going to show you is my first batch. These are the ones that I made with the very, very first kit. And yeah, I mean, I didn't show you these because I just think they would have taken a longer and this video would have been, well, you all would have signed out by now. But these are the ones I made with the very first batch. So you can see I've put some lettering in here. I've put some glitter. I went out to the garden, picked up some daisies and put some daisies in there. But they turned yellow straight away and I don't know why. It must be the science, it must be the chemicals. But yeah, I thought if I put some natural flowers in, it would be kind of cute. But it, you know, they went a bit yellow to be honest. Um, and that's one daisy in the circle mold, which I thought was pretty, but it did go yellow. And then the others, I went crazy on the rose gold leaf. I just, um, ripped it into shreds and just shoved it in there. Um, this was just simple with the gold glitter. Meh, a little bit meh. Um, these were from the works, these kind of pewter leaves. Don't know if you will see the air, can you see, oh, there you go. See those holes? Yeah, so that is where I've put the leaf in, but air got trapped underneath. So then I can just go over that with a bit of resin just to touch up those holes. Um, these are just ideas for you guys. More of the rose gold leaf, probably my favourites, you know. This one didn't work out at all. This was a really, really faceted, detailed craft gem heart, like a crystal. And none of that comes through. It, I put it in, but when it dried, it's all gone. It's not even, it doesn't even look like it used to look like a fake crystal. Does that make sense? You know those gems you just get from the craft store? Yeah, it's all gone. So that's a dud. Don't try that one. This one I thought would be cool, but no. So this was a really thin Scrabble tile from the craft store again. Didn't work. I tried to keep it central. In fact, I went up about an hour later, moved it back to the middle. No, it just wanted to carry on to the side. So, yeah, I don't know how to fix that problem. Anyone out there who actually does resin, who knows about resin, let me know. And then I can actually make some initial um, pendants or just put it in a smaller, um, in a smaller um, mould. I guess like this little square, it might work better in there. But yeah, so the lettering again came from the craft store. They are those tiny little beads with letters on both sides. And the peace symbol also came from the same craft, well, the works. It all came from the works. But I have to say, hands down, these two are my, well, this one, okay? We have one winner here. One winner. It is the same mould as this one. My favourite mould. All right, let me sort this out and get it focused. Can you see those? I mean absolutely my favorite hands down this one here i put the resin in the mold then i shoved loads of sequins blue sequins from the pot i showed you at the beginning of the video i went dark or light blue 
darker blue, darker blue. And I shoved them down until I really couldn't shove any more in. And look at this. And I then added on top some blue glitter. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm also happy that my voice is back today. <laughs> I feel much more normal now. Well, normal, whatever that is. Back to myself. But yeah, this is the one that was packed with the blue glitter. You'll see at the top, I just missed some. Again, excuse the nails. Haven't had them done yet. But yeah, absolutely lovely. Hundred. Yeah, I think you will all agree with me that this one is the winner. Hands down the winner. Just absolutely. This one makes me feel like anything's possible. <laughs> Let me know which one is your favourite. I have made a whole heap here. But obviously, you know, these were really for demonstration purposes. Remember, you can just shove anything into your resin. Natural ingredients, you know, grass, leaves, flowers, twigs, wood, twine, anything you can think of you can shove it in there. So that's the exciting thing for me, is that anything is possible. And if you know someone who loves jewellery and they've got a specific hobby, wow, you, you, you're on a roll. You can just, you know, just shove it in there. But yeah, so that is it, guys. Thank you so much. I just need to say, you need to remember to wear your gloves, check your ratio on your resin. Your, every resin is different. I thought every resin was 50-50, which is why my first batch never worked. This resin is two to one. And you need to stir for up to five minutes, pour it into your molds, make sure that it's level when you do that. Put your things in, put your decoration pieces in, and make sure you remove all the air bubbles. Leave it to cure on a flat surface in a warm environment. And of course, this is self-leveling resin. So if it's not a flat surface, everything will be slanted and if not you'll you'll wake up the next day and everything would have poured off the side if you've got it sitting somewhere like that but has to be flat in a warm environment and yeah this is the basic of basics videos so i'm sure i'll get some comments down below probably telling me that i've done some stuff wrong but please do let me know because like i said first time ever trying it and i absolutely love it so i will for sure be trying some more and yeah, any guidance would be gratefully accepted. Cannot wait to do some resin pours. Um, well, I say resin pours. I don't, want, I don't want all the cells. You see all those videos and they get all the cells. Don't want that. I just want, oh, just some blues. Blue is my ultimate favourite colour. And hello. Ultimate favourite one that I've made. But yeah, so other than that, there's nothing else to say. You can sand them down. You can cut bits off. And yeah, enjoy. And I hope this video has helped you as a beginner to show you what's possible or, what's, or, what's, or what not to do. I mean, you know, no. If you like gold, good, but yeah. So yeah, I have to say, thank you so much for watching. I hope this hasn't been too completely tedious and boring for you. But I'm so excited oh, to get some pigment in the post. Once I've got some pigment, then I will no longer have to be working with this clear resin. I can actually turn it into all different kinds of colors. And I will see you in the next video. If you like my content, do give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. But most importantly for me is that you comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I reply to every single comment on my videos. And I guess if that day ever comes where I'm struggling to do that, I don't know what I'll do. I'll hire someone. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.